Final leg here for another episode of This Week in Track and Field. We have a lot of highlights from the NCAA and a couple on the pro side. Jumping right into things, first we have Ja'Cory Patterson from Virginia Tech competing at his home meet in that 300 meters. He managed to run 32.28 seconds, which broke the NCAA record in the event. That record was back from 2010 by the late Torin Lawrence, who competed for Georgia. So a 10-year record that Patterson broke here. Huge performance, definitely setting himself up well going in for the rest of the season we're going to see what he's going to be able to do at specifically probably the 200 meters and maybe the 400 meters as well so jacory patterson from virginia tech we also have the 60 meter hurdles on the women's side though we had tonia marshall from lsu she was competing at texas tech she managed to run 7.86 seconds in those 60 meter hurdles that not only broke the lsu school record but that moved her to number three all time in the ncaa so really high quality ladies that she's getting up into the stratosphere within the ncaa huge performance for her she's definitely going to be one of the favorites going into the ncaa this season we're going to see how much she lowers her time in those 60 meter hurdles moving over to the high jump we have daryl sullivan competing for tennessee he was down at virginia tech as well he managed to jump a huge jump of 2.33 meters massive personal best for him and that moves him to number four all time in the ncaa again this is only the second week in january so he's definitely setting himself up well for the rest of the ncaa season so look out for him also notable in that high jump we have ellen Eckholm competing for kentucky the senior there she managed to jump 1.87 meters down at texas a&m so really strong performance ncaa leading high jump for her. Heading back on the track, we have Raheem Chambers, a senior from Miami. He was competing in that 60 meter dash at Vanderbilt and ran an NCAA leading time of 6.57 seconds. So huge performance for him. Joined though by Cravon Charleston. He's a senior from North Carolina State and he was competing at South Carolina's meet. He managed to run 6.59 seconds, the number two time in the NCAA this season. So we have Chambers and Charleston going one, two in the NCAA for the 60 meters in this weekend. Heading back to the field, but this time in the pole vault, we have Casey Lightfoot competing for Baylor. He was at the Larry Wazorek Invitational and he managed to jump an NCAA leading mark of 5.70 meters. Huge performance for him. Definitely showing he's going to be challenging for that NCAA title later on in March. Also on the women's side, we have Olivia Groover competing for Washington. She was at her home meet. She managed to jump an NCAA leading performance for the women of 5.66 meters. She's a really strong performer. She's actually a former indoor and outdoor champion while at Kentucky, her former school before transferring to to Washington. So really strong performances for the men and the women in the pole vault. Finally for the NCAA in that shot put we have Kayla Dawson competing for Indiana. She managed to get out to a huge NCAA leading throw of 17.47 meters. Great performance showing that she's going to have a really strong NCAA season this year. Now heading over to a couple pro results we have Renaud Levillenin the pole vaulter from France. He's the defending world indoor champion. He's going to be going to Nanjing as a defending champion. He managed to jump a huge performance of 5.80 meters in in France this past weekend but that was the world lead for a little bit it was surpassed though by American Kyle Parker he managed to get out to 5.82 meters really strong performance for him so a lot of guys are hitting big marks in that pole vault we're going to see a great competition going into Nanjing this year we also have to note Yaroslova Mohuchik from Ukraine in the high jump in Doha last year she finished second to Lasiskene jumping 2.04 meters getting the world under 20 record outdoors this past weekend though she managed to jump 2.01 meters which broke the indoor world under 20 record obviously a world leading performance obviously a personal best also ties the ukrainian national record so huge performance for her this is actually the second best performance that she has only behind the 204 that she jumped last year so definitely showing she's going to be going for a shot at the title at the nanjing world indoor championships finally we have to know brianna williams from jamaica she noted this week that she is going to be going pro she signed a big deal with nike i think it's all expected we know that she competed in high school in the united states but she's going to be foregoing college. She did get third at the Jamaican National Championships last year, so already showing that huge promise and that ability to compete with some of the best ladies in the world. So definitely keep a lookout for Brianna Williams from Jamaica. All right, so those are the highlights from this past week in track and field. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let me know any other highlights that I might have missed. There's tons of results from the NCAAs as well as the pros that are already going down. We have a lot more competitions coming up. Of course, the Boston Indoor Games are coming up next week, so definitely keep a lookout for that. We'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.